run your law firm the right way. The right way. This is the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Your hosts, Jim Hacking and Tyson Mutrix. Let's partner up and maximize your firm. Welcome to the show. Tyson, I'm back with another quick episode of Max Law Tech Tips for your legal practice. Today, we're going to talk about quick and practical tips to increase your law firm's website load speed. Okay. This is an absolutely critical factor that we never talk about. Okay. And I I think, I think it's really important that we talk about this. I'm going to give you a few tips. I'm going to use a little bit of mumbo jumbo that you can take to your experts to improve things. They already know about these things, by the way, but I'm sure some of you are some DIYers that you can maybe focus on these things, but, or maybe you can bring it to your, your SEO's attention, but it is really important. Before I get to that though, if you do have topics you want me to cover, shoot me a text 314-501-9260. If you have any questions, just shoot a text to me and I'll try to answer them if I can. We're getting a lot of questions and suggestions and really appreciate it. Keep them coming. But back to the importance of, of load time. It matters if it, re- if it really just boils down to two reasons why it's important, the, the speed of it. One is client experience, which then leads to the next one, which is SEO. Okay, SEO for the most part is... It's based on the user experience, okay? User experience, meaning your potential clients, customers. So those two, those are the two reasons, right? You want, it's, it's the client experience, a potential client experience. You want them to become a client and SEO slow load times. They're going to affect their first impression of the firm because of they're frustrated as they're looking for you or searching your website. Guess what? Not going to be great for you. All right. The other part of this is if it's slow, your SEO rankings will go down. Look at all the top websites. Fast. They're fast, 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 fast. If you're waiting, you're you're moving on. That's just how it works. So it's it's not necessarily rocket science getting it sped up. It's really about optimizing various elements of the website. I'm gonna give you some I'm gonna tell you something else to do other than it's something that you may not be thinking about. I'm gonna tell you about near the end. But I'm going to give you a few quick and effective ways that you can actually maximize your website and making it a lot faster without needing an IT degree or going going to some SEO training. All right. So the first part is the first tip, optimize the images. Okay. It's one of the easiest ways of speeding up your website. It's just optimize the images images because those large high res images can eat up a lot of bandwidth. So use, you can use a lot of different tools. I'm not even going to list tools. I, I was going to, but I'm not going to, cause there's so freaking many of them, but many of them there that you can actually use inside of WordPress that are, that are widgets that you can use to reduce the bandwidth that you can compress them, but it, you can compress them without actually losing the quality. And that's really important too, because you don't want to have ugly images, which goes back to having the, the good user experience, but you, there's a lot of tools out there where you can compress them and not lose the image quality. WordPress has a lot of them that you can use. And by the way, if you're not using a tool like SEMrush, Hrefs, I think is another one. Like there's a lot of these tools that too, that, that can help you identify certain things like this. Another thing is, is that you can minimize the HTTP request. This is one of the mumbo jumbo terms, but every element on your site from images to scripts they all, they they require an HTTP request. And so the more elements that you have, the more requests and the slower your site. So I don't know if you notice, but you, you see a a lot of very simple websites these days, and that's probably intentional. You, I mean, there's a lot of value in those websites, but there's all, they're also very streamlined and simple. And a big part of that probably has to do with one, they look cleaner, but it's going to speed up the website. Another thing this is the third of the four tips I'm going to give you. The next thing is utilize browser caching. It allows elements on your website to be stored on the visitor's browser so that it loads faster. Okay, so the visit loads faster. And this is something that's got to be set up when it comes to the headers on your server or using plugins on the platform, kind of like WordPress. Again, this is not something that is that, that you need to focus on. You need to have your experts focus on this. You need to have your SEO focus on this or your website person focus on this. And then the last thing I want to go over is something that 
you may not be thinking of because I think a lot of people just they think about oh the website the website the website, but you should really be putting your website on a private server. Okay, I'm not talking about a server in your office. You can use something like Amazon. We use Known Host. Actually, we just moved to a new one. We're not on Known Host anymore. We we used Known Host in the past, but those are a couple. You can yeah, Amazon is has their uh, AWS, so you can use AWS. Get your own private server. You can use known host or there's a variety of, uh, of others, but it's not nearly as expensive as you might think. It's actually fairly inexpensive and it's a, a way of really speeding up your website. And uh, just as a bonus tip, even if your SEO company says, Hey, yeah, put it on our, on our servers. Cause they might have their own private servers too. You want to have control over your website. So my, my tip to you is to make sure it's on your own server, insist that you keep it on your server. They don't need to have it on their server. Okay. There's no need. Okay. Put it on your own server and have, make sure it's a very, very fast one. Don't go cheap, spend a little bit extra money. That way it's nice and fast. Cause if you use one of these other major companies like GoDaddy to host it on there, right. For hosting, I'm just going to pick on them. For example, there's, there's several out there. You're actually sharing bandwidth with other websites. And so if one of them is really draining the server, it's going to slow down your speeds. Same thing. They're, they're, that's why you will see some websites get shut down because they're draining the server and it's, they're doing it in, you know, in, in ways that are, you know, black hat SEO or things like that, but they're, they're using up too much of the servers and it's affecting all of the other websites. And so you'll see websites getting shut down by that host. They'll be kicking them off the host because of that. That's one of the major factors and why it's important to have your own server because you're not going to get kicked off your own server. It's your server and you're not going to be wor- have, having to worry about another website draining all of that server's resources. So focus on that. Really important. I think we can all at this point acknowledge the fact that website speeds are crucial. So focusing on that really, really important. So start with these quick tips. And then what you can do is just expand from there. There's other things you can do, by the way, this is not an exhaustive list, but it's something that you can do to quickly and effectively speed up your website. All right. Remember, if you have any topics you want me to cover, shoot me a text 314-501-9260. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast. And that way you're getting notified every time there's a new episode. And if you don't mind giving us a five-star review, I would love it, would really appreciate it, and that way it'll help spread the love to other people out there. But until next week, remember that consistent action is the blueprint that turns your goals into reality. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. To stay in contact with your hosts and to access more content, go to MaximumLawyer.com. Have a great week and catch you next time.